Johnny and Dolly. The team is supported by ableauctions.ca. Closing your business? We can help. Okay, that was the scene Saturday in Phoenix, WG Phoenix Open. Sam Ryder with a hole wow. in one at that crazy 16th hole, surrounded by grandstands, beer cans being thrown in celebration afterwards. Uh, Sam didn't get hit, but Carlos Ortiz of Mexico, hole in one there on Sunday, and he claims that he got hit by a, a can of beer. And uh, Ryan and I argued about this. So did you e yesterday. And I'm saying, come on, stop stop with the silliness. I don't mind the fans, but the beer throwing, come on. So we thought we'd bring in an expert from uh, Predator Ridge, Dick Zokel. Thank you, sir, for doing this. How are you? I am well, guys. Good to be with you once again. Happy New Year. Hole yes. in ones. Yes. <laughs> now, I, I, Donnie, I, I know it's your favorite subject, so we yes. can talk about that. But yeah. like you said that I'm an expert in throwing beer. No, 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 no. Is that, well, is that what you're insinuating? No, as I found out a couple of years ago, you're an expert in holes in one. Oh, Apparently, you've had a gotcha. couple in in your day. <laughs> yeah, so love the subject. <laughs> are Fascinating you, story. Are yes. you a fan of the 16th hole at the Phoenix Open? I am. Because? I am. Well, because, it's, um, because of what we just saw. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, there's absolutely things that need to kind of go forward and guidelines that because what happened on Saturday with Sam Ryder's um, hole in one and what we witnessed, we saw a whole bunch, you know, beer cans. Are you kidding? Yeah, like yeah. you can't have beer cans, like cups of beer. Can you imagine at an NHL game yeah. if they allowed cans in the stand? Those things <laughs> yeah. are missiles. Yeah. That, so in hockey, they've already gone through this baseball. They've already gone through this. This is brand new to golf. So golf, this is the first time lines have been crossed. And, and now they're going to figure it out. And, and it's a strong debate of whether this is proper or not. Do I don't think the PGA Tour wants a, a, a steady, regular theme of this. But if there's one event a year and one hole in the year, that's great. I think it's fine. But I think starting next year, there's not going to be any cans. They're going to yes. be, you know, draft beer in cups. And I think it becomes a safer uh, event for everybody at that point. Just building on what you were saying, uh, Dick, you wouldn't want... Uh, one hole like this at every PGA uh, event? Because some people would be in favor of that. Yes, there would be. And I, do, I, I don't think it, um, you know, golf has to be very careful. And as well, and, and there's a lot of things that are getting out of hand, which mm. is another subject like money and where that money is coming from and all that. But, you know, is this going to work at the Masters? Not a chance. Is mm. it going to work at the U.S. Open? No way. Should this be at Pebble Beach Pro-Am? I don't think so. Um, is it great at the at the WM Phoenix Open? It's perfect at the WM okay. uh, Phoenix Open. I, I think it's it's there's a place for it. It's found its spot. I, I think that um, if we try and replicate it too much, it'll stop being as good as it is and it's effective. I think you know I think there is some reports of two hundred to three hundred thousand people that attended Saturday hmm. alone. Two fifty, like, yeah, oh, yeah, two fifty. That is yep. fantastic. And yep. this is are these guys are these people golfers? No. Are they going to become yeah. golfers? I, I doubt it. But it's eyeballs on the game, which is good for the sponsor. That's why they're, they're, uh, you know, gosh. And and what better waste management to clean up? I mean, that is just a marketing <laughs> perfect yeah. heaven. So yeah. um, there's a lot of things going for it, but a, a regular stream of it? No, I don't think so. I, I think that whole uh, Dick's got twenty thousand fans just on that hole alone. But you know what happened? The entire tournament had to come to a halt. Uh, Dick, uh, right. for the beer removal, there were guys behind and front. Uh, with those guys uh, in behind, you're in a rhythm, you're doing well, and all of a sudden, oh, you got to wait till they clear up the beer. I mean, how pissed were those guys? Well, that's a good point, and and you know that when you start around, like say the Saturday there, but you, it's already 
part of your mind that when you get to the 16th hole, the Coliseum, it's going to be a free zoo show. You know mm-hmm. that you got to gear up for it. So now you throw in the delays and so forth. And I think that sets off the, um, some issues. And that's why you don't want to have a, a steady diet of this. Yeah. Um, and and it, it, it is disruptive. And, and the thing is, too, is if, you, if you're a player and you don't like this, you know what? You don't go play the yeah. event. You, you, yeah. you know what you're going into. And a lot of people love it. And there's a lot of people that don't like it. But, um, you know, the people that don't like it, they don't have to go play it. Simple as that. You say you like it, Dick. What about when when you were a player? Would you be okay with that environment? Sure. Yeah. I mean, when I was playing uh, the 16th hole uh, at at the uh, Phoenix Open, you know, was similar. We we were it was it was an issue then. Okay. now it's exponentially grown. I mean, it was always uh, craziness. And there's always Greensboro. 17 was like that. Boston. Um, but I think the 16th hole was a par three that got out of hand. So uh, the PJ tour has done a good job in containing it. And I think containing it to the 16th hole once a year at the, at the WM Phoenix open is a good thing. And I think that uh, you can take the benefits of it. And I think the, the, the you know, as like I said earlier, they're going to have to uh, tighten the guidelines on it. And by removing the cans that it won't do any damage to the, to the greens and certainly won't be doing damage to any people that these missiles are hailing down on. You don't want any, you don't want any part of that liability. No. no way. What's happening at predator Ridge, Dick, we're itching to golf. Well, we're, we're start, we're looking forward to starting a new season. We've got continuing expanding into new subdivisions at predator Ridge. It's fantastic. We want you to, uh, to get up here this season. And, uh, when things are, you know, getting back to normal and, yes. and actually we should talk about, are you guys aware of this super golf league that's coming in and the controversy that's happening with that? So that may be a, another, a subject for another day, perhaps. Super golf league. Uh, this, this is the first time hearing of it. Uh, pardon me. This is in BC, Canada, North no, America. No, this, no. Okay. This is the same thing. There's a super golf league. That's that. Uh, Greg Norman is. The oh, CEO oh, right. 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 Funded by okay. the Sorry. Yeah. No, it's it's a, like the World Golf League competing with the NHL. Bobby Hull jumping uh, back in 72. Same type of thing. So it's a big issue. It's uh, it's currently hot, and uh, there's a lot of talk on that. So we can... Uh, we'll do that next time. We'll okay. look forward to it. Okay. Dick, thanks so much. Thanks, thanks so much guys. for doing this. Thanks, Bye Dick. Bye for now.